Uh, good win for our club there. I mean, battle back. Uh, I think it was one of the cooler moments since I've been managing here. I mean, they, they went ahead 3-2. Our fans got into the game, especially when we started that, that rally. It's probably about as loud as they've been. That was pretty sick. Shelty had kind of a two-part question going off of that. I was curious if you caught Polanco, whatever he was doing, it looked like he was doing jumping jacks in front of your dugout. And then two, just what did it say about your guys to pick up Anderson the way they did? Yeah, well, number one, well, first of all, you never know where Polo's coming from when he, when something like that happens, uh, you know, with that wingspan. And uh, the second thing is, I mean, Ty, I mean, there's two parts to that. I think Jason Tyler Anderson picked us up because he pitched really well. You know, I mean, I don't think he gave up. He didn't give up a hit until that. He got two hits in the second or third or whatever, and then he gave up the hits there and made one bad pitch to a guy that's hitting a lot of homers this year. Uh, but he picked us up. Really good start. And then the fact that uh, our bullpen, you know, stepped in and, and closed the door. And, you know, we started with Polanco. Polanco starts, and then, you know, we get guys on base. Newman with a really good bunt, and uh, we made some things happen. Guilty before that seventh inning rally, um, Adam Frazier obviously has the homer, but he also saw 25 pitches and three at-bats against Giolito. Um, how key was that to getting to that seventh inning with the bullpen, knowing the kind of length that Giolito can provide if he gets, you know, easy outs? Yeah, I, I don't think we, we allowed him to get easy outs all game long. I mean, we made him battle. I think, you know, Frazier had the, the homer. It was a 10-pitch at-bat, which uh, and he battled off a changeup. He battled off a breaking ball. He battled off fastball. So I think it's a testament to our guys. I mean, this is a guy that no hit us last year. And we made him work, uh, you know, the entire game. Eric, uh, beside the bunt, um, Newman had that double. It sort of seemed like a monkey off his back there. Um, what, what did you see out of him tonight at, at the plate and uh, just what he's been doing lately took, to get to that yeah, point? I mean, he took aggressive swings. Uh, you know, he got the double. It was a heck of a bunt. You know, I mean, perfect bunt. That, and, uh, you know, and then we get the ball thrown away and, and we're able to, to – continue to move guys around but Kevin played really well I think you know the thing that stands out is not only there but I mean he had what five or six plays in the field a couple of them were very difficult and he made them all it was it was a nice game for him Shelty it looks like Bendar does his best work whenever he's either inheriting a runner if there's a runner in scoring yeah, position uh, came through again today got his first big league win what makes him so successful in those clutch situations uh, he goes right after guys I, I think that's something that, you know, we talk about learning moments and growth and we're starting to, you know, see this guy kind of grow before our eyes. And, you know, it's really cool for him. First big league win, home ballpark, you know, uh, that's pretty special. It's been a pretty good week for the Bednar family so far. His brother won a College World Series game the other day. He gets his first win today. So he's probably the second least disappointed person that they're wasting beers on a beer show right now besides me. Shelty, I want to go back to uh, Adam Frazier real quick. Just, you know, with those long at-bats, he's been able to do that consistently this season. Is it as easy to explain it as having that short, compact swing, or is there are there other ways he's advanced in, in like, particular aspects of his game that lead to him being able to have those long at-bats? I, I think it's commitment to his approach. You know, you can have that short swing and not stay committed to his approach, but he stays committed to his approach throughout the entire at bat and, and never really gives it bats away. And I think it's a testament not only to the short stroke, but to, uh, you know, his game plan going into that at bat or any at bat. Derek, this feels like the, the topic that won't go away. And uh, I'm sure you'll see a video of Joe Girardi soon. Um, that'll be pretty interesting. But from your view, how is the first day of, enforcement with the checks and the inspections and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I thought the umpires did a good job. I thought they were very quick. You know, they were right on top of it. Uh, Jerry and, and Marvin got the guys right away, checked them, were very thorough. Uh, it did not disrupt the game at all. So I, I thought I, I give uh, credit to the umpires tonight. They did a really nice job with it. Okay, all good. Thanks. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, Kevin Newman is here. Kevin, uh, seems like you, you – not seems like you, – you did bust something of an extra base hit slump tonight. Um, Derek sort of credited just uh, uh, an aggressive swing there and uh, more aggressive swings, rather. Um, just what was working and, and uh, what sort of led to the double there. 
Um, you know, it's got a good pitch to hit and uh, put a good swing on it. Left the change up a little bit up. Um, so yeah, put a put a good swing on it and uh, found some grass. That was good. I mean, we talked. We talked to your manager a lot about um, you know you guys kind of missing a key hit in a key situation. You're getting guys on base and just that it's been elusive for whatever reason. To see Gonzo get that two run single, it seemed like you had some emotion going. Just what was going through your head at that time? Um, yeah, you know that's a good way to put it, and uh, and that that swing is huge for us. Um, probably the, the momentum shifter in the game um, that led us to the win. So just to see um, you know Gonzo come through for us, and and uh, you know I'm sure it feels great for himself too, but. Uh, from a team standpoint, you know, just having a guy come through in that situation, get that big hit uh, was huge for us. Kevin, was the intention of that bond to move the runners over? I imagine, you know, obviously you'd like to get on base either way, but was it really just sort of a sacrifice and it just worked out well? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, It was intended to be a sacrifice and it was um, It was just placed, it was placed better than I intended and uh, I got on, so it was, <laughs> it was a win-win. <laughs> Kevin, I know you hit behind Frazier. I'm, well, I'm sure you fit behind Frazier, but the amount of pitches he's able to chew through, like what does that do for other guys on the bench? I would imagine it maybe starts conversation among you guys. Just what does that, what does that help? Um, it's, it's big, it's, it's especially, you know, this is only a two game series, but um, you know, when you have the three and four game series and your leadoff guys seeing, you know, almost 10 pitches in that bat, it, it helps us get to the bullpen um, sooner. And that, you know, that helps us later on um, like I said, this this is a unique series. It's only two games, but typically game three and four. Um, if we can get their bullpen early, that's that's a really good thing for us. And it's funny you say that. I was talking on the bench. Um, you know, I forget who I was I was talking with, but that was that kind of came up. Um, and uh, it's big for us. You know, it's uh, anytime you can take up you know pitches from the starting pitcher on the other side, it's um, it's great for for us as a team. And um, you know, it helps us in the end get a little momentum and see more pitches and hopefully get them out of there sooner. Oh, good for Kev. Hey, Kevin. Yep. I'll take one more if you don't mind. Yep, go ahead. Kevin, what, what have been your impressions of David Bednar? It's first time as, as his teammate, and what was said to him after his first win tonight? Um, you know, Bednar is awesome. He's a great teammate, great person, uh, fun to be around, great clubhouse guy, um, you know, and, uh, and we were all super happy for him, uh, you know, to get the win. And, um, you know, not much was said, honestly. He's, he's just a happy guy. And, um, you know, had a huge smile on his face, and, and uh, we didn't really need to say any, anything because everybody was cheering so loud. Um, so, uh, you know, it was just an awesome moment for him, and I'm super happy for him. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, guys. All right, fellas, Adam Frazier in the seat. Questions for Adam? You're able to see a lot of pitches from Giolito. I think it was like 25 pitches in the first three at bats. What was your approach there? Because uh, it seemed like you wasted a lot of good pitches in terms of following them off, especially during that home run at bat where you saw 10 of them. Yeah, just trying to get something to hit, really. Um, like he only, I mean, his, his heater paired with his changeup, not really easy to get on both of those pitches. So, uh, um, I mean, I guess he gave me a couple, fouled them off, and then after that, it's just you know, fight and protect and do what you can. Hopefully, he makes a mistake, and uh, I guess I got one of them. How important was that first one by Phil, given that he no hit you guys last year to get to get hit off him early and kind of get everybody relaxed? Um, yeah, I don't think we're thinking about that, but. Um, to drop one in early is pretty good and refreshing. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, just, just open the gate after that. Um, you know, I mean, he, he's, we, he still didn't give up much. So he's a good pitcher. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we just fought till the end. Adam, in three of the past four games that you guys have had, you've been able to string together those at bats for the big innings that you were kind of missing a couple weeks ago. Have you seen anything that's kind of led to that um, in terms of the team approach or anything like that? My uh, guys just still working hard and, uh, you know, putting together tough at bats. I found a couple of holes there in the, was the seventh, I guess. And, um, yeah, I mean, picked up Anderson. That was pretty awesome. Uh, felt good about that because, you know, he pitched really good and uh, Grandal got him on that one swing. So, 
to pick him up. That felt pretty good. But yeah, just uh, at bat by at bat and guys not giving in and um, you know, doing their best. Adam, what's that say about you guys? I mean, that's a big momentum shift. He comes off the bench and hits a three-run homer, and then to turn right back around and put up four in the bottom half. Yeah, I think it was huge because, uh, you know, we've had some tough luck in you know, the past few weeks. So I um, felt like we're winning the game. They get a big hit, and then we kind of don't come through after that. But tonight we did, so it was pretty fun. Um, yeah, hopefully we can do some more of that and, uh, you know, get this ball rolling a little bit. Adam, I know Robbie asked you about the All-Star game. Is that something that you think about? And, and what would it mean if you were to have the opportunity to go there? Yeah, I mean, I try to tune it out as much as I can, just take it day by day and play hard and see what happens. But uh, yeah, I mean, a lot. I mean, I dream of that as a kid, um, getting to the major leagues and then being an All-Star. So uh, I mean, it'd be pretty awesome if I, if I am able to do that. Okay, all good for Adam. Thank you. All right, fellas, David Bednar is here. Questions for David Bednar. David, how does it feel to get the first W? <laughs> awesome, good to uh, get the first one on the books. More important, your first major league win or striking out 15 in a college World Series game? Go. <laughs> no. uh, I think my brother takes the cake on that one. <laughs> that was fun to watch. Did, did, did I'll ask you another one. How did it feel to get the beer shower? Did you get the beer shower that we heard of last year or no? Uh, no, I just got the beer shower. A um, little bit of beer, a little bit of pop, a little bit of baby powder, you know. You name it, whatever, whatever was in that clubhouse, uh, it was <laughs> got showered with it. So yeah, it was awesome. Have you David, heard it all from? It, it, sorry, Jeff. Have you heard it all from your parents? Obviously, like we know that they went down to uh, Omaha, right? Mm -hmm. Have they have they gotten back? To, like I can't believe we missed this one of all of all things. <laughs> I think uh, <clears throat> if they were to miss a game, I think this is the one reason they'd be okay with. So uh, they're definitely having an awesome time out there and. Uh, you know, I think I think the dogs are winning six five right now. Um, so you know, go dogs. David, what's it been like for your dad the last couple of days, adding in what you did here tonight? <laughs> uh, I can't imagine. I know he's uh, he was just beyond fired up um, <laughs> watching watching my brother um, go out the other day, and uh, my whole family was. I mean, they're just beyond ecstatic for him, and. Uh, I know I was cheered on just as loud from over here. So uh, to see him have the success he's having is uh, awesome and, um, you know, just, just unbelievable. How much are you feeding off of that? I mean, is, is that something that kind of gets you pumped up? Because every career first for you, you're also seeing your brother kind of go through some major firsts in his career and with the draft coming up next month. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, uh, there's definitely a little uh, – competition, uh, competitiveness between us, but it's all, you know, all in good fun. And um, we definitely kind of push each other and uh, just, you know, seeing all of it, his uh, success that he's having is just, like I said, just unreal. Um, he deserves every, every bit of it. And uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch. Anything else for David? All right. Any, oh, anything, you'll do, anything you'll do to celebrate this one on your own? <laughs> Uh, honestly, probably nothing too crazy. Um, maybe I might just have some ice cream tonight or something like that, you know. <laughs> Twelve thirty-five game tomorrow. Quick yeah, where's, where's the game ball go? Does that go to your parents or does that go – you have a special place reserved for them? Uh, we'll see. It'll probably go to my parents. Um, yeah. David, do you ever dream of doing this for your hometown team? I mean, how do you put that into words? Uh, honestly, you really can't. Um, I, Coming to games growing up, and you never really, you know, it was always just fun. Um, and you had big asp I always had bigger aspirations to play here, but never in my wildest dreams thought uh, it would actually, you know, come come true. But uh, you know, just beyond blessed to have the opportunity that I have right now. David Shelton said you 
you've gone after guys more as the year has gone on. How, how much have you noticed that and how much has that been an emphasis for you? Uh, I think kind of as the year goes on, just kind of you build a little bit more uh, confidence and trust in, in my stuff and just kind of, you know, you, you kind of feed off it and just go after guys. And, you know, I, I, I've been saying that's kind of my mantra this whole year, just, you know, go after guys, compete in the zone and good things tend to happen. Okay, good. Good for David. Thank you. Go dogs. <laughs>
All good for Tyler? Okay, that's it for the night.